Um, capture base again. Target acquisition. Yeah, so we got one more capture base, and then we're going to go and do the story quest that has shown up. Or maybe I do the story quest now. What time is it? Okay. Um, right. We'll do this capture base now. 3 for 12. I'd rather take the money over two random salvage. That is fair. That was a pretty good Lance. Lance actually held up quite well. Uh, Wolverine did way better than the Firestarter would, so that was a good choice. So, thank you, Greybeard, on that one. Hello, motherfucker. Hey, Solar. Yeah, ready up. I'm afraid, though, Solar, I'm actually going about to make a cup of tea. I'm 30 minutes behind on the tea break. And we've got another, like, two hours ahead of us. So I'll quickly nip and get that sorted. And then we'll get these two missions on the way. Because I'm expecting the second mission, the story one, to take a bit longer. Because the story missions typically go on for a bit longer. Been here with you. Hell yeah. Yeah, be in just a moment. Oh. Trying to organise a few things. In the house. Command interface initiated. Ow, why my hand I'm sitting back down? I actually really hurt. Right, let's get stuck into this mission then. Oh, it's this map. I actually like this tower set. It actually spawned us on the high ground as well. I normally get spawned like down here. So this is really nice. They spawn us on rough terrain though. Behind us. Nope, okay, we're free to move. Moving. Wait. Ah, that's gonna be too far away, isn't it? Yes, you are. Can you move them mount? Let's find out. No, you can't. You can't move them mount. Okay. That's nice to know for next turn. Moving to position. That's probably why it gives you such a big circle to, to like emulate moving them mountain. Okay, let's go. You will. All right. Next turn. Now we can mount up. Maybe it should make it an ability. Instead of like attaching it to the bottom, maybe an ability might be a bit easier. Because battle armors always have a lot of weapons. Uh, maybe I should go high ground. Yeah, actually. What's that? The Wolverine? That's fine. Hollander, you're coming up here. Moving. Mantis, you're going down low. Raven, you're also going down low. Wolverine technically should be up on high ground, but I want a little bit of weight down at the bottom. Copy. Shadow Hawk, you get moving. Okay. Hollander, you're up here as well. Moving. Mantis. As long as you have six evasion, that's fine. On it. Moving to position. I feel like we're about to trigger a fight in a second. Moving to position. No turrets, which is a good sign. Uh, it's probably going to be a late spawn by the enemies, isn't it? Hmm. Got it. Garrison on patrol is coming back. Okay, yeah, so they're going to be spawning late. 
In motion, Commander. Yeah. Ah, oh, Mantis can't make it. That's fine. I guess I'll, maybe I'll put the Raven over here then. On the high ground. I think there's a pretty good chance that they'll spawn over here. Um, does this add heat or anything? Oh, it actually provides a damage boost. 5% damage reduction from front and side. Plus 4 difficulty to hit. Oh wow, Crystal Field actually got warfed in BTA. Holy shit. Crystal Fields were already really strong, so I'm quite surprised that they got buffed. Moving. Um, you head over to this tree line, that's fine. Raven, come over here. Maybe the Mantis should have been the one in there. That's fine. Holding and cooling. Okay. Still nothing yet. Okay. Five agent Wolverine, start heading over this way. Hollander, start heading over this In way. In motion, Commander. Mantis. Uh, come up here just in case. And Raven. Got it. Over that way. Right, where are they spawning? This should be... There they are. Looks like enemy reinforcement. Right there. I knew they were going to spawn next to me. Two down there as well. Um, so We've got a Jenner and a Wasp. Don't know what those two are yet. Is it just going to be reserve spam? Or are they going to move? Nope, they're moving. Okay, very nice. Not bad. What do you need? Holding for the right That's the battle armor. armor. So we can't do that with that just yet. We need the Mantis to move first. Jenner. Okay, so the ones at the bottom are heavier. Yeah, okay, back attack. AMS was a bit late, but we'll we'll okay, take it. it oh yeah, you shot one. Fair play. I think it was a bit late, but you got yes. one. Yes. Okay, Mantis. Um, I am gonna go for the punch. Especially if laser weapons are slightly buffed. I don't see any harm in it. Good hit. Looks like I hit the side torso. Hmm. Side torso gone. There we go. And then let's get the battle armor out. Actually a really safe place for the battle armor as well. Um. Yeah, it's got back attack. It's already been started. Got it. Effing turned on. Effing turned on. Here we go. I think we got it. Wow, that salvo is actually nuts. Probably didn't need the SRMs. He's got one more salvo of already? SRMs in there. Hollander. So I can kick him. He's got free evasion. Oh wait, can you not slug at that range? Oh no, it's just weird. Okay. Go for the slug. Moving. Take this. Okay, good kick. 
Ooh. Yeah, he's good. He's well done. Mech destroyed. Man, I always feel bad for Stinger pilots. Holy shit. What? No. Imagine being sentenced to death by being in a walking coffin. Right, it's pinged on these two. What do we have? Is that a cicada? And a blackjack. Would be my guess. Yep. Cicada and blackjack. Free F. Is that the oh PPC? That's a little bit scary. Blackjack's kind of whatever. Ooh, actually, a really good shot by the PPC. Seven evasion. I mean, he did dodge all the blackjack. Hey. Couldn't dodge a particle cannon now. Okay, yeah, blackjack. It is time for you. Disappear. Now we're going for the flank. Okay. Do we have enough for a precise strike? No, I'm not quite. Not say not quite. Nowhere near. Uh, normal shots is fine. So. Oh, what did the AC5 actually missed? Standing by. Yeah, Wolverine. Um. What does that do? Two. Ooh, wow. PPCs actually give a really nasty debuff then. That's the wrong flank. I think just hitting him will be fine. Nice. Good hits. Actually, some very, very, very good hits. Uh, battle armor. Your mountain back up. Good stuff. Receiving you. I don't think you're making it this turn. Yes. Honestly, I may even just go for a sensor lock on the cicada. Um, Raven and Hollander. Can the Hollander make it for a shot? Now, let's just get this black jerk dealt with. I think ERPPCs have recoil, so we should be okay. We just focus the black jerk. What is it already? Yeah, the shot would not have been good, even if we did make it. So that's that was a good choice. Let's roll. Give you over. Oh, this poor. Poor Blackjack. Never stood a chance. Alpha strike engage. Was that 80 damage from the slug? Triple them, Commander. Did I read that right? Block shot, but that's still fine. I think the Blackjack's really taking a beating here. He's surviving a lot more shots than I thought he would. He survived another Alpha. He just eject. There we go. Right, what's this PPC doing then? Oh, going for a DFA? It actually landed it as well. Ally down. What? Um, pilot survived at least. Standing by. <laughs> okay. As a DFA one shot by a cicada. On my way. 
What the fuck? That's a new one. I don't even know what to say to that. That's like beyond stupid. Well, hey ho, that's how the game goes. That's why I don't think melee is particularly that good in Battletech Advanced. Because they're guaranteed to hit you. <laughs> oh, at least the battle armor came off. But you need to constantly have like 10 evasion or you're just going to die. On a whim. Oh, dumb way to lose a mech. Mission successful. I hope he didn't get permanently destroyed. Because it, it even counted as a back attack as well, which is the even crazier bit. Ah, I don't even know what to, like, I don't even know what to think about what just happened on that. Um, so we lost the XL. We lost... Did we lose the Supercharger? Uh, no, Supercharger's right toy, so, okay. ERPPC. Uh, we'll grab... It's a car there, because it's got an XL and a 320. 320 is a good engine. Uh, no, I want the AC2, because I actually I want to start stocking up on those a bit. Right, was that a permanent death for the Mantis? What a dumb way to lose a mech. DFAs are really fucking accurate. That's what I'm learning. Every single DFA has hit me so far. Um, luckily, the pilot didn't actually take any damage. And the Mantis is alive. That doesn't mean I can't use the battle armor until the Mantis is repaired. We lost a double heat sink. You are taking the piss. Why? Oh, it's because it's the part of the engine, isn't it? Oh, wow. What a bullshit death from above. All three hits hit the same torso. Because it, uh, DFAs are in chunks of 25, I believe. So every single hit hit the same left torso on on a back attack. It wasn't even a flanked hit. It was a back attack. Jesus. Um. Right. I think I've got everything necessary to repair it. It's just really annoying. I have a spur? I do. Man, what a shit way to lose a mech. Uh, normal mediums. Normal mediums. They're at the bottom. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. I still hate the melee mechanic on this mod. I still hate it with a passion. Literally, it's just make it pretty much forcing you to play long range. Same same issue as Rogue Tech at currently. They've they've both mods have gone out of their way to make melee just a very stupid fucking idea. 
Um, that is how it is. Roger that, You're at the mother's whim. Do that over to the campaign mission. Uh, no, I'll get the mantis back. Oh, throw party. Hell yeah. Mongrel's birthday. And it's, I, I can't I can't see a way to make melee viable in this. If every single hit makes you unsteady, it ignores four evasion, which means you've got to constantly get more than four evasion, but you've got to constantly get like eight plus to even be worthwhile. On a move, because you can only melee attack when moving, like it's, it's like so extreme the levels that they've gone to punish you for be, for wanting to go close range. I don't get it. Like close range is already like punishing enough. You don't have to make it almost impossible to do and not lose your mech within the first three missions. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. I didn't mean to build that one. That was more expensive than I thought. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's check free. There we go. I don't know. I've, I've, I said that from the get go. I'm still super confused by the melee ignoring evasion. That still really confuses me. Keeping the cats. All right. Um. I'm afraid, however, that is actually all the time I've got. I thought I had an extra hour. It turns out I was wrong. So thank you, everyone, for coming in. Sorry, it ended off on such an, a bad note. Specialized in melee and BTA. Interesting decision making. Do it to melee and not. Rest of enemy scouts. I think it's just super limited. Like it's, it's basically you're you 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 make a mech with the. I don't know. I I don't know what other equipment there is. I just, I can't see it being worthwhile. I don't think I ever will. Um. Let us draw a raid over to who's playing um well our Barry's hamster on let's go and throw a raid over to hamster well, thank you everyone for coming in hope you all enjoyed um overall I think I am mostly enjoying us oh, done to stop the recording